What's good YouTube, Name of Mass Collector, back with another PSA Modern Value Submission. This one we're doing today is 50 cards, so we're going to burn through them. Uh, I just got done taking a look at them all under the microscope and kind of assigning a grade that I think it might get based on my limited experience. Um, I'm being very conservative so um probably being a little bit harder than than it should be but we'll see what happens <clears throat> so 50 cards um this is part of the all the submissions i put in before the price increase went into effect so i got to get this one out and then i got one more after this and then all of those 10 that i put in a couple weeks ago um on february 28th um i kind of ran it up to the wire on this one here it must have been the last one because um i have duplicates in this one kind of scattered around i think i put two two separate submissions together just to save on some cost so um freight wise so we'll see what happens all right if you haven't subscribed yet please do so i really appreciate that like the video Hit the bell for notifications when uh, new content's put out. And uh, let's get after it here. So Skybox Jordan, uh, 1990. Uh, I think it's a 9, maybe a 10. There's a small white corner. Um, let's see here. Small white corner, top left. Um, slightly off-centered, but it measures okay. So we'll see. A little bit off-centered, but it did measure 60-40 or better. So, so that uh, next one here is a 95 upper deck. Um, I think this is like an 8.5. It's got a lot of white corners when I looked at it under the microscope, um, just because the print, you know, runs all the way to the edge. A lot of room for failure here, just not on the face, but also the back. So I bet you these are just really tough to grade, but um, there's white corners on here. So I don't think it's going to get more than, you know, I don't think it'll get a nine or above, but we'll see. Uh, Jordan NBA Hoops 1991. It's all USA Olympic team. Um, a nine, it's got a dent on the back on the top left over here somewhere. For that one. Centered really well though. I had three of them, I picked the best one. Uh, this one here is the award winner upper deck, 1991, the MVP one. Um, I'm thinking an eight. It just, the surface on these, you know, you, you breathe on it and it scratches, so, but. We'll see how it looks under a slab. Then we got some cheapos here. Um, 91 Fleer, I think in a nine. It's off centered, um, it's pushed this way. And um, I think that's gonna knock it down a grade. Otherwise it looks really good. All the corners, everything's crisp and clean. It's just pushed to the left a little bit. It might get a 10, I don't know. See how they're feeling over there. So this one here, next one is 91 Fleer, again, all-star. Uh, it's a 10. Um, it's got a small white spot on the bottom, on the back here, but that's it. Everything else looks really good. So hoping for a 10 on that one. Here's another 91 Fleer, team leaders. Um, nine uh it's off centered it's kind of pushed that way a bit and up and it's got some white spots on the bottom so not a lot but enough to where you can it'll, you'll see it under a microscope for sure uh let's see here 98 upper deck mjx nine uh i think it could be a 10 it's like at one 
white spot on it on the corner I think and then um, back front white spot bottom right corner or something like that I don't know what this is. anyway it's got a little white spot on the corner somewhere <laughs> so I'm thinking a nine um, Maximum Metal, I, this was one I pulled when I was a kid, but it's got white edges all the way around the front and the back. I don't know how bad of a grade it's going to get, but um, I think I'm seven and a half or an eight maybe. I, I don't know. It's got a lot of worn edges. The surface otherwise looks really good. It's just the edges on it. Um, same with this, this one here. Thinking the same thing, seven and a half or an eight. It's got white edges all the way around it. I picked this up off of eBay this year. Now I know why the guy sold it. Just little white spots everywhere. Um, next is a 92 Tops Gold Jordan. It's got the gold name, name label tag down here. Um, it's off-centered, so I'm thinking it's a nine. That's pretty much it around with that one. And then I actually have the 92 tops, regular version, base. Um, it's centered pretty well. It's a little off-centered, but um, it has a huge line that goes across here. That's like a big indentation. So I'm thinking it's going to get an 8. Here's an Upper Deck 91, 92, I'm sorry. No, wait. Upper Deck 91, 92. Um, East All-Stars. Ten is what I'm thinking. Uh, it's off-centered a little bit, but it measures 60-40 or better. So I used the, uh, the grading tool on it, and um, it, it looked pretty good. So next one is Jordan's Upper Deck 1991 baseball card. Uh, SB1 number. Uh, I think it's a nine. It's a uh, tough centered a little bit more than it should be pushed down. Um, that's about it. And then it's got a little soft corner here on the bottom right. But other than that, it looked really, really nice. So hoping for a nine on that one. And here we get into some of the doubles. So here's another sky box. Um, it's got a white corner down he here. I'm thinking an 8.5 or a 9, just because it's got white corners, bang bang, I think on every one of them, but I don't know why I put it in there. Here's a Jordan 90 Hoops, I'm thinking a 9, it's got a couple white spots on the face side, one up there I can see, one over here, oh it's got a thing right there, I don't know what that is, but other than that it looks good. One that I pulled when I was a young kid. And we got an 89 hoops. This is one of my one of my favorite cards of his just because it was one of those first years that I really got into collecting. Um, just remember pulling these out of packs and just being so stoked about it. So this is um I'm thinking a nine. It might get a ten, but the only thing that's wrong with it is on the on the top of the C part, sorry, there's a little white spec like a print bubble or something like that right there that's it that's that's it so hopefully it comes back at 10 doesn't help that he's almost like pointing right at it but. next is the uh, upper deck uh 1992 15 000 point club uh eight and, a, eight and a half or a nine it's got some small dents on the front left side Um, other than that, it looked pretty good. And we got another Jordan. I got lots of Jordans. Um, 91 Skybox. 10, baby. I'm going to get a 10 on this one. 1991 92 Upper Deck. 10. 
We're gonna get a 10 on this one too. Nineteen ninety one Fleer. Um, probably gonna get a nine just because it's off centered, pushed to the top. But otherwise, it's like really, really nice. Um, I'm thinking it's a it's a nine, but it might get a ten. I don't know. But I mean, all the way around, it's perfect. Let's see here. Uh, we got ninety one, ninety two Jordan East All Stars. And I have this as a nine because it's got a circle, small circle dent in the top front up here, like a little tiny pinhole type of thing. Other than that, looks pretty good. Uh, here's an, another East All Stars from the same same year, 1991. And I'm thinking this one here is going to get a nine same type of thing it's got a small pin pinhole um top left and i think it's got like a little bit of a rough edge but we'll see what happens on that here we got another jordan 91 upper deck bulls checklist i think it's a 10 um it measures 60 40. it's definitely pushed over this way off centered a bit but it measures a 60-40. Um, if it comes back a nine, I'm guessing it's just because of eyeballing it. You can tell it's off-centered. <clears throat> 91-92 All-Star Checklist. Uh, 10 as well. If it gets a nine, it's because it's, it's off-centered, but it measures 60-40 or better. And we're getting into getting some Giannis cards now. Um, 2014 Panini Prism. I think it's a nine. It's got a small dent on the bottom left. So like right down here. You guys can see it, but it's right there. That's it. That's the only thing that's wrong with this thing that I could tell. So maybe they, if they don't see it, um, or they just think it doesn't really distract the eye and it looks fine, they might get a 10. Um, this one here, uh, eight, eight and a half, it's off centered. Uh, it's pushed to the left a little bit. And it's got scratch type marks on the face. <coughs> And it's also got like those manufacturing lines across the back. This is the only one I had of this year in this card. So I didn't have anything else to choose from. If I do have other ones, I don't know where they're at right now, but this one's going out. This is a uh, 2015 Panini Prism Giannis. And, uh, I'm thinking this one's gonna get a nine. It's got some small scratches. Um, it's got a white, a white uh, bottom corner because the back's completely freaking dark green. So hoping for a nine. Home stretch here. Dennis Rodman. There's a better light than you see here. Uh, Dennis Rodman Finest, 1997. I think it's a 10. Um, if it does get a 9, it's because it's got some like scuff, not really scuff marks, but like drag marks maybe from like getting put in and out of sleeves. It's not really noticeable, especially when it's behind a plastic saber, card saber, but. I think it looks great. The face looks great. Um, one of those ones I pulled a film on in a previous video. Um, this one here is the Topps uh, Chrome Refractor 2007. Um, I'm guessing it's an 8.5. It's really off-centered. 
and it's got like a line scratch on the top left over here like right in the border it's hard to see but it's, there's like a line that just kind of squiggles down on there but i just like this card a lot it's numbered 9.99 Uh, here's another finest 2007 um it's got some some cross scratches on the face going across this way so i'm thinking a nine otherwise it looks really good all the way around uh, here's another dennis rodman uh fleer metal universe 97 um 10 baby this one looks really nice Got a couple little tiny white spots on the backs, but that's it. I think it's it deserves a 10 in my mind, just because of how much of a bitch it is for this one to uh, to get through with not that many issues on it. It's a nine for sure, though. Um, this is a uh, Bowman's Best Honor Roll, so. Refractor, Dennis Rodman on the face side, and Arvita Sabonis on the back. I'm thinking it's an eight. There's just so much that can go wrong with these things. Um, lots of little tiny scratches in the finish. You can't see anything like through this, but um, there are some like print lines. There's one there, there's one over here, there's one goes up and down over there on this side. But on the Dennis Rodman side, it looks really good. It's centered pretty well. So, but yeah, I'm thinking an, an eight. If it gets better than that, I'll, I'll be really happy. Uh, 2015 LeBron chalk toss, baby. Oops. Um, I'm thinking it gets a 10. It is slightly off center, but it measures good. 60, 40 or better. And everything looks great on it. I have a uh, 2004 Fleer uh, USA card, Skybox, 2004, so I'm thinking a 9, uh, maybe a 10, it's got some white, white edges on the back, just a little bit, you can kind of see there on the, on the blue edge there, it's not too bad, but, um, the best one I have, I have more of them, but I really just didn't want to look through them all, getting tired, <laughs> burnt out, um, 1990 Upper Deck King Giffrey Jr. I think is going to get a 10. Had a bunch of these. I busted open, you know, 10 boxes of this last year. Got some really nice cards out of it. This one here looks great. Um, King Griffey's 1990 Collector's Edition Toys R Us Rookies card. Uh, it looks phenomenal. I think it's going to get a 10. Um, it's centered awesome. There's no issues on the edges. Um, there's no white showing the finish. There's no scratches or nothing. So um, I think this is a bona fide 10 for sure. Uh, here's another Giannis card. So this is a Panini Crusade camo uh, refractor. And um, it's not the best. It looks great on the face, but the backs, there's some like drag scratches on the back that um, I think it's gonna knock it down quite a bit to at least a nine if not um, it's got a white edge here in the corner or an eight and a half eight area but um, hopefully the face can carry its weight here a little bit get closer to that nine area that's a PC card anyway so I really don't care but um, this one here looks really good. This is a um, 2003 Upper Deck LeBron James out of the box set. Tall task. Um, it's perfect. I think it's a, it's a 10. I don't see why it would not get a 10. It might be off-center just a hair, but it's, it measures fine. And the last one is a LeBron James uh, Flare Flair Showcase, sorry, Flair Showcase, um, second year card. It's got scratches on the face and the back, not really scratches, but more like just kind of 
drag mark type of things. So I'm thinking it's an eight and a half, nine grade at the, at best. I mean, it looks great underneath plastic, so who knows? But um, yeah, it's a really cool card. I should have got more of these when they were cheap. So, so that's what we got for this submission. 50 cards, mailing these out tomorrow. Um, I'm getting all the ones that I've been sending out there are starting to arrive or getting, you know, as received at PSA now. So that's good. Um, there's a lot of them there. <laughs> Got a lot of submissions there right now. So um, I'm just going to keep pumping them in. I know it's going to be a long wait, but once I get a nice stream coming through um, every couple weeks, you know, that's going to be turning and cards over pretty quick selling wise. So I'm looking forward to that process too. So thanks a lot for joining me on this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment. What do you guys think? You know, am I, do you think I'm grading these accurately um, based on what I'm telling you? What's wrong with them? And um, do you guys have any experience with some of these cards that have the print all the way to the edges? Things of that nature. And uh, get a little conversation going, that'd be great. And uh, hit the bell notifications on my videos when they come out and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.